this is Blue Star Warrior One here. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And it's the first book of Adam and Eve, and this is chapter three. And Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Let's begin. Concerning the promise of the great five and a half days, God said to Adam, I have ordained on this earth days and years, and you and your descendants shall live and walk in them until the days and years are fulfilled. When I shall send the word that created you and against you, which you have transgressed, the word that made you come out of the garden and raised you when you were fallen. Yes, the word that will again save you when the five and a half days are fulfilled. But when Adam heard these words from God and, and of the great five and a half days, he did not understand the meaning of them. Now remember, like a day is like supposed to be like a thousand years in God's eyes, something like that. Let's continue. For Adam was thinking there would be only five and a half days for him until the end of the world. So he's thinking oh, there's only five and a half days left, and then the world is going to end. And Adam cried and prayed to God to explain to it to him. Then God, in his mercy for Adam, who was made after his own image and likeness, explained to him that these were 5,500 years, and how one would then come and save him and his descendants. And who's going to come and save him? Let me think. Ooh, Lord Jesus Christ. But then, but before that, God had made his covenant with our father Adam in the same terms before he came out of the garden, which he was by the tree where Eve took of the fruit and gave it to him to eat. Because when our father Adam came out of the garden, he passed by that tree and saw how God had changed the appearance of it into another form and how it shriveled and as adam went to it he feared trembled and fell down but god in his mercy lifted him up and then made his covenant with him and again when adam was by the gate of the garden and saw the cherub with a sword of flashing fire in his hand and the cherubim grew angry and frowned at him. Both Adam and Eve became afraid of him and thought he meant to put them to death. So they fell on their faces and trembled with fear. But he had pity on them and showed them mercy. Turning from them went up to heaven and prayed to the Lord and said, Lord, you sent me to watch at the gate of the garden with a sword of fire. But when your servants Adam and Eve saw me, they fell on their faces and were as dead. O oh, my Lord, what shall we do, do to your servants? Then God had pity on them and showed them mercy and set his angel to keep the garden. And the word of the Lord came to Adam and Eve and raised them up. And the Lord said to Adam, I told you that at the end of the five and a half days, I will send my word and save you. Strengthen your heart, therefore, and say in the cave of treasures, of which I have before spoken to you. And when Adam heard, the, heard this word from God, he was comforted with that which God had, had told him, for he had told him how he would save him. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. All glory in God, all glory in God to lose the Lord Jesus Christ. All praise and glory. So, what happened after 5,500 5, and a half years, which is a long time ago, because that passed a long time ago, was Lord Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He came, to the, came on this earth. He was God's son. And he, 
he did the works that God had led him to do. You know, he did what God told him to do. And because he is the son of God. And he died on the cross, shed his precious blood for us. He was sealed into a tomb and then rose on the third day to be at the right hand of God. Lord Jesus Christ came back and he brought Adam with him back up to heaven. Lee, that's what I've heard. And he said he was going to come back and save them. And in the end, they did. But the work is almost about to be completed. We are in the tribulation, and Jesus Christ is now about to come back. So it's kind of interesting to be reading about, like, Adam and Eve. And, like, it's like so far back in the past. And, like, they're thinking, like, 5,500 years is, like, ridiculous far. And it's already passed and long gone at this point. Sorry, I had a yawn. Um, time is no more, and we're just waiting for our blessed hope, Lord Jesus Christ, to come back to Rapture's Church. I'll be back as the Lord leads.